Hi, I'm David Dunlop and welcome to my studio here in Connecticut. This is where I paint all of my pictures. Today I'm going to do something different. Today I'm going to think about skies. And I'm going to think about skies as people thought about them hundreds of years ago. Artists like Jacob Van Roysdale and Turner. Do you notice that the angle comes down? See this angle of the clouds and it comes down into these trees? Now look at the shape of the trees. See the shapes of the trees are the kind of rounded same sort of shape we see in the clouds. They're all similar. And this sweep, this line of cloud continues with these trees. Just like this line of meadow continues this way. And this line goes over here. Now watch what's happening with my pen. It goes like this, it goes like this, it goes like this, it goes like this, it goes like this. That is a big, what we call, hub and spoke design. Here's the hub and spoke design, just so that you can see it. You put a, a hub and the spokes, like a spider web, go out from the vortex right there. And I'm going to put some of that cloud territory in this way with those grays. And you can see how I'm shaping, coming into these tree shapes with that gray breaking them down, making them even smaller because they're still too large. Whatever we think of, we tend to make too large because it's what we can identify. What we don't think of, what we don't pay attention to, we make too small because we haven't paid attention to it. So if I can identify the trees, I'm going to make them too large. So I'm coming down in here and make those trees even smaller. He reworked it too. This is taking some time in his own studio. This is not what he does on a Saturday afternoon. This happens over time. There would be no moral purpose to this picture if he didn't have a figure in it. It was a moral obligation of painters to make sure that they didn't just paint a landscape that was just landscape. They could do that in their sketches, which nobody would see but themselves. And it wouldn't be until the 19th century where we have landscapes that are just landscapes. Otherwise, it's too hedonist. So here's the figure. Now look, the figures, because of perspective, is just a little something that's that big, right there, walking along, and then smaller and paler when we get back to here. 